Hello! Welcome to another watercolor tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to focus on spattering technique and we're going to be painting a house in a woods so a house that is absolutely covered with foliage and trees and bushes and lots of stuff going on. How do you paint something like that effectively? Here's how. Let's go ahead and get started on this landscape. This house has some white on it and I want to make sure that that doesn't get covered up. So the first thing we're going to do is protect the house with some masking fluid and I'm also going to protect these sticking up weeds that are in the foreground. So I'm just going to use masking fluid poured into the lid of the masking fluid itself and then I'm going to use an ugly old craft brush and get it wet and then get it soapy. I have a cake of soap here. I like to just rub the bristles on the soap cake and that's going to make it a lot easier to wash out the brush after putting the masking fluid on. Just dip into that lid and brush it right over the top of the house. Then you can use a small brush to mask those weeds or you can use a stylus. This is a clay tool but I like to use it for masking. So I just dip it and then carefully mask those little poking up weeds. Not all of them are the same size, not all of them are the same length, not all of them are going the same direction. And then there are some areas in the foreground with some pretty precise highlights or they could be small flowers. So I can choose to protect those with either the stylus or I can use a toothbrush. Again, I'm going to get the toothbrush wet and then rub it on that soap. Then dip it into the lid and let those droplets fling on the page. I'm just scraping my finger over the top and I'm making a spattering effect. Then just scrape all that masking fluid off the brush. So before you start painting, let this dry completely and throw that water with the masking fluid in it away and get yourself some fresh water. Then we'll be ready to start. Now this is dry, so let's get started with our splattering. The first thing I want to do is mix up some shades of green and yellows that will match what I see on the board here. And then I'm going to make puddles of them on my palette so that I can just go from one to the other without having to clean my brush. So I've got some yellows here, I've got some greens, and now I'm ready to go. I'm going to start in the foreground with this bright yellow patch and what I want is to kind of protect the rest of the painting so I'll just block off the top of the painting and this side here and I think I'm gonna spray down that area with a little bit of water sprinkles and I'm gonna get my brush wet and kind of start spattering in some of this yellow here See how I'm using my brush? I'm just going to push it to encourage the paint to go different places, but I want to keep it very loose. I'll come in here with some different colors, some oranges and yellows mostly in the foreground, but it's predominantly yellow, so not too much of other stuff going on. And then I also see some of these same colors up on this other side, coming up on the left in this tree. Since this is the lightest color, I don't need to worry as much about the spatters going into the dark areas because they'll be covered. Then once I have something on the board, I can give a light spray with my water bottle and just like magic, it becomes leaves. And down here, I'm going to start incorporating some green and give it another little spray. So in areas where you want your colors to mix together, you need to do that work while the paint is wet. If I'm done spattering for the moment, then I can also use the back of my brush and start to kind of carry some of these colors up, scraping through so that it will look like grasses. Okay, so I have this bright patch. I can use a dry brush and kind of floof it around to bring some of that color into other places like this. But I don't want it to look too painted. I want it to look like the painting kind of painted itself. So this is a loose wet on wet technique. Okay, then let's also do some of that same work up here. I'm just gonna spatter some of it around like this and I'm using my hand to shield the area of the paper that I don't want to get spatters on. 